Hi guys, this is part 2 of the WL Toys 18.429 review. Unfortunately, the receiver slash ESC did not like my conformal coating. So before we can do an outdoor test, we have to do a brushless conversion. So we need this Racer Star 2435 brushless motor with 4500 kV and the 3 pin replacement for the 5 pin 17 gram WL toy servo. It is centered with a servo tester before the new servo horn is mounted. All metal threads are secured with Loctite. M2.5 x 6 mm screws are used to secure the motor. The dust cover collides with the screw head. So a slot is required. Now it fits in place. The original power switch is soldered to the 25 amp brushless ESC. The new ESC is mounted with double sided tape. And the original power switch goes back in place. And of course I will use my Arduino open source DIY micro RC remote control system. The receiver is mounted with double sided tape on top of the servo. The steering needs to be calibrated. So the software needs to be re-uploaded. That's it, the conversion is done. It only took about one hour. And of course I have also applied the white glue gearbox sealing. The rear suspension was way too saggy. So I have designed and 3D printed these preload spacers. They can be downloaded on my Thingiverse. Everything is now ready for the test drive. So let's go! <laughs>
Rear gears are definitely destroyed. So let's disassemble the rear axle and see what the damage is. Now you can see that all teeth on the big bevel gear are damaged. The small bevel gear is completely stripped. So let's remove the prop shaft. And this is how the stripped gear looks in detail. So I designed this bevel gear pair in Fusion 360. You can download the STL data on my Thingiverse. This is the result. The big bevel gear printed with PLA filament. And this is the 3D printed small bevel gear. The original axle for the prop shaft is now press fitted. The shoulder requires a little bit of rework on the lathe. This is the big bevel gear in place. The small gear also fits nicely. Finally we want to grease the gears with a big blob of silicon grease. But will they survive the brushless power? I really don't know. So let's do a little torture test. We will start inside on parquet. And yes, it still works fine after two batteries full throttle. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Bye!